What is going on everybody? Eric to let you come to you guys again with another video. This one's gonna be pretty quick. I am going to briefly go over what happened, what I've been doing for the past month. As most of you may know, I went completely vegan for an entire month. Yeah, so a full month of purely vegan eating and I was coming from a diet that was mainly focused on animal products, a lot of yogurt, a lot of meat, except, you know, a lot of that. So, I wanted to go over what I noticed and I covered it briefly in a few videos. I really wanted to get, uh, just let everybody know what I, I found from my little experiment. First one is pretty obvious. I really noticed a lot more power both on the bike and off the bike. As many of you may know, I do ride bikes, I'm a cyclist. And uh, one thing I noticed was just a lot more power in terms of uh, you know actually being able to to have better stamina on the bike, get up hills, uh, really just feel a lot more uh, invigorated when I'm on the bike. Uh, more motivation. Uh, it just feels like when you're uh, on more carbohydrates, you're uh, mainly focused on that as your main source of macronutrients. You do notice a significant uh, performance increase. So that was main, mainly what I noticed. That's the first thing. The second thing I noticed was how much I actually spent when I did go to the grocery store. And I looked at both months and or months prior to, to starting the experiment and a can of beans is 88 cents guys at the store and that's got a lot of protein in it, uh, quinoa you can buy in bowl. One of the things that I thought were going to be uh, more costly actually turned out to be less costly on a vegan based diet. I don't really have to buy a bag of frozen chicken anymore that's going to cost me eight bucks or anything like that. So kind of segues into my third point is actually the required amount of protein that we need to actually make physical progress. Um, this is obviously going to vary, but as a uh, as a cyclist or a guy that's really just focused on slow, s gradual progression in the gym, both cycling and lifting, um, it really just kind of put things into perspective for me. I didn't, I realized that I didn't need as much protein as I thought I needed in order to make progress. Just to give you guys a little insight and a little idea of what I'm talking about, I started the month right around, I want to say about three. My deadlift was right around 355 pounds for a triple. I'm now at about roughly around 300. 90 pounds so making that gradual progress and actually you know slowly moving things along which is really you know I thought I would do the opposite to be completely honest I thought I would actually slide a little bit backwards since I wasn't getting enough protein is what I thought so that's the third thing I really wanted to bring up to everybody is you do not need as much protein as you think the other thing I wanted to bring about too and this is kind of a negative side to veganism and it does force you to read a lot of labels and forces you to uh, check ingredients and uh, really just be really meticulous about your intake, which is essentially, it can be a good thing and it can be a bad thing. I do have a history, uh, as a lot of people do as well, of, uh, of fixating too much on that aspect of your diet and what you eat every day. You really do need to pay attention to what you eat, but at the same time, you also need to have a little bit of balance in life. This brings me to my final point of this video. Will I continue to do competitive eating? Well, I would close that chapter of my life and really just focus on this new type of lifestyle. And I really have given a lot of thought to this. Um, I'm doing more and more research on actually um, not just the performance aspect of veganism, but actually the uh, impact that uh, living a non-vegan life actually makes on the earth and the world around us. And it really is eye-opening to me. But for now, I do think that I do still have a passion for that. It's still something that I enjoy. Um, I will say that I am going to be, uh, if you can say partially vegan, I'm going to be doing 95% um, of my diet will be vegan and that extra 5%, which will be a challenge or a contest here and there will be non-vegan. So that's what I've decided for now. Um, I do think that maybe later on in the future when I, I have come to a full decision on that, I may change, but for now, that's what it's gonna be. So I may get a lot of hate for that, but that's, that's my choice for now. Um, I do feel that there is a huge impact that we make on uh, society and in the world in general when we do consume animal products and uh, like I said I'm just not educated enough right now and everything like that to uh, to really come to a full vegan lifestyle but I feel like that's the best decision for me right now and that's what I want to do so uh, if you don't agree with me then that's that but that's what I'm gonna do for now anyways guys I hope you enjoyed the video it's been an awesome month and I plan on continuing this and having an awesome time but uh, if you haven't already feel free to hit that subscribe button and uh, hopefully I don't ca cause too much controversy with this video, but like, subscribe, comment, and I'll be back for more. Stay tuned, guys.